Overview After decades of absence from North America, the Toyota Crown nameplate has returned to our shores. Although it's a replacement for the discontinued Avalon, this is no traditional sedan. Instead, the 2023 Crown straddles the line between car and SUV, perhaps with the intent to broaden its appeal to shoppers outside the shrinking full-size sedan segment. Either way, the Crown's mix of high driving position and three-box styling taps a niche vacated by raised sedans of yesteryear such as the Subaru Legacy SUS and the Volvo S60 Cross Country. Although a plug-in hybrid and an EV variant were both rumored, the 2023 Crown launches with a pair of conventional hybrid powertrains. The entry-level arrangement is a familiar one, pairing a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with three electric motors and a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. The most expensive Platinum model gets an exclusive hybrid max powertrain that sees a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder and an electric motor on the rear axle combined for 340 horsepower. The Crown's distinctive look and oddball body style are complemented by what looks to be a spacious cabin outfitted with premium features. Toyota is equipping all Crown models with a generous amount of standard driver assistance systems and infotainment tech. What's new for 2023? The Crown will be a new addition to Toyota's US lineup. We expect to see the Crown on sale by the end of 2022 or in early 2023. Toyota hasn't released any information on pricing or features for the upcoming Crown SUV, but we know it will be offered in three trim levels and provide a more luxury-oriented experience than other four-door offerings from the brand. The most intriguing option is the more powerful Hybrid Max powertrain, which is exclusive to the top-end Platinum trim, but once we find out more about the Crown's pricing we'll update this story with a recommendation for which model represents the best value. Engine, Transmission, and Performance all Crown models have a hybrid powertrain, but only the top-spec Platinum model gets Toyota's new Hybrid Max setup, which pairs a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder with an electric motor on the rear axle for a combined 340 horsepower. The XLE and Limited models get a less powerful 236-horsepower hybrid system that uses a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and three electric motors. The XLE and Limited have a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, while the Platinum uses a six-speed automatic, all-wheel drive is standard on every trim. Toyota says the suspension has been tuned for a relaxing ride, so we're not expecting cornering heroics from the crowd, but the Platinum model does come with adaptive dampers. When we get a chance to test drive the Crown, we'll update this story with driving impressions and test results.